<laughs> okay, take three of this video, um, which is to demonstrate uh, the speed of uh, a relatively new Linux operating system on a relatively old computer. This computer is back from about the year 2001. It's a, um, a Pentium 4 1.6 gigahertz machine with 256 megs of RAM. And I don't know about the hard drive, <clears throat> but anyway. Um, what I've got loaded is Lubuntu, which is the lightweight version of Ubuntu, which is the most popular um, Linux operating system for beginners, anyway. I'm going to start it up now, and as you can see, I'm just going to let this thing run, and it should take about 30 seconds before we get to the login screen, which is not bad. Um, it starts off. It's just blank to start anyway. Uh, in this demonstration, I'll be doing a few things. I will show off um, uh, how uh, fast it is to load a program called LibreOffice, which is uh, a free open source alternative to uh, Microsoft Office. So things like Word and Excel. These are documents. Okay, so here we are at the uh, um, login screen. So I'm just going to enter in the password. Anyway, yeah. So it's an alternative to Microsoft Office. Um, and you can, I'll show you how how you can open up um, Word document files. Um, and after that, I will show uh, just uh, using the Firefox web browser to um, go to the internet, access the internet. So anyway, so this is the default screen that you'll see when you install uh, Ubuntu. Uh, it has, like Windows, it has a start menu in the bottom left corner. You um, can't really see it in this video. <clears throat> but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the file manager. Uh, okay, here we go. and go into the downloads and here I have a number of documents. I will open up this first one which is the um, um, a doc extension, so not the latest docx extension, which I think was introduced with Office 2007, 2010, I don't remember now. Anyway, so LibreOffice is uh, opening now. You can see it doesn't take that long to load up, and here's my document. So it's got a little heading here and then a, a table here. So for example, things we can do is um, you know, I click inside this table and right-click and go to what column insert insert one column after and voila now we have three columns and I can punch in stuff and you know it's a little bit slow like I'm punching buttons and it's taking a while for the characters to appear on the screen but it's not bad I have noticed that sometimes when you just kinda scroll up and down things look weird but you know, if you just kind of minimize and open up again, then it's fine. Um, oh, okay, that, that's new. But I mean, I have I haven't seen that lately. Well, I, don't, I don't know what that is. Okay, don't let that um, discourage you from giving this a try. But anyway, so let me just try to save the file with the changes. Save as. Uh, I haven't actually done this part yet, so this will be nice to see. So I'll save as test. Um, and what format file type? Let's see. Okay, I'll save as the ODF text type, I suppose. I'm not sure what all these different formats are. I'm just going to save, see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says it's saved, and I'll close it now. And let's see, and there's that file. Okay, I'll just try to double click on it this time. I'm assuming it'll open again inside the same program. I'm not sure my double click worked, so I'll hit it. Oh, there we go. Uh, what am I looking at? This is a different program. AB Word. Okay, you know what? Let me, maybe I'll edit that out of this video or, or not. Yeah. Let me right click, then you can choose to open what with whatever program. And, and you know, changing the 
uh, default association shouldn't be a problem. I haven't played much with this operating system, and by that I mean I haven't really played at all. Uh, this is really my only, just my third time or fourth time booting this. Uh, but anyway, I can see my changes are, are here and looks still looks great. So uh, the other thing I wanted to point out, actually, I'm saving. I saved in the ODT format, which is probably not what. If you wanted this as a replacement to Word, you'd probably want to be able to save as a doc file, a DOC file. So let's just make sure I can do that. So I'll select under file type, um, scroll down, scroll down. Ha! Huh, Microsoft Word. Ooh, yeah. I can even save as the new docx format. So there we go. Um, blah, 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 blah. Use the format. And there we go. Yeah. So there you go. That's... Uh, opening up um, and modifying and saving files, Word files, and using a free alternative. Uh, and now I've got my internet up and running, so I will start up uh, Firefox. Wow, long video, six minutes. Okay. Um, okay just wait for it to load, so let's see. Yes, not a snappy browser. Okay, about 15 seconds before we see the start screen. And I can go into www.youtube, okay, alright, enter, and then it's starting, there we go, starting to load. I've been here before, so some of the resources have already been loaded and in my cache, uh, da, 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 da. okay, just try and click on a link on a video, uh, I don't have sound enabled on this, so you, you'll see the video playing, but no sound. So this is obviously taking a while to load up. Um, Cringe-worthy for those of us that only use, you know, the latest and greatest. But anyway, there you go. That's the uh, that's my demo to get a an idea of like how quick it can be or how slow it is. But you know, workable if you got if you have a bit of patience and you know you don't have a better computer to work with. Um, so it's worth a shot if you need it. If you have an old computer that just ain't working for you anymore, you know, try Linux. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> okay, one thing I forgot to mention in my video uh, is that uh, if you have an older computer, it probably doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi, any Wi-Fi hardware device. Uh, so one thing you can do, you can buy them online. You can buy uh, different kinds, and the kind that I can I recommend if you have a bunch of USB ports is, um, well, is a USB type. Now, this is the uh, Wi-Fi device for this computer. It's very small, just USB. Um, it works out of the box for newer Linux operating systems, and this one in particular or one like it anyway. I bought from a website called dx.com for uh, $6.30 American for and uh, free shipping to my country, Canada. So um, pretty inexpensive if you need to get uh, Wi-Fi for your computer. That's it.